Hi everyone. Okay, so for the second outcome assessment that I'm going to do is the four item DGI. So it's basically a shortened version of the full eight item DGI. And so this one, the cutoff score for this is less than 10 points. That indicates an increased likelihood of falls. So you could use this one. It's really quick. You don't need any equipment really. Um, you just need a long enough 20 feet long haul. So um, and the four items for this one include gait on a level surface, uh, change in gait speed, gait with horizontal head turns, and then gait with vertical head turns. So again, I have Rachel here, and I'm going to kind of demonstrate how you would administer this test. So I have measured out approximately 20 feet down here in my basement, and then I have my timer ready. So. Alrighty, so for the first one, it's gait on a level surface. Um, so Rachel, here are your instructions. Begin with your toes on the line. When I tell you begin, start walking at your normal pace from here to the end of the hall. Make sure you continue to walk past the line. Do you understand what I want you to do? Yep. Okay, ready, set, And so then you look at the time that you have here and the, um, the DGI that I attached in the PowerPoint, it gives you the, the norms and how many points those are worth. So, um, let's see. So they kind of graded on a zero to three point scale as well. And so Rachel was able to walk normal 20 feet, normal gait pattern, and then no imbalance. So that's the full three points there. Next would be change in gait speed. So I'll give Rachel the instructions. Begin with your toes on the line. When I tell you to begin, start walking at your normal pace. When I say go fast, I want you to go as quickly and safely as you can until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Yep. Okay. Ready, set, go. Speed up. Speed, fast, fast, fast. Good. Okay. So with that one, again, you time it and it gives you those time categories on here. Uh, gait pattern is normal. She's able to smoothly change walking speed without a loss of balance. Um, and then she's able to show a significant change in her gait speed too. So some of our patients, when we say walk faster, they think they're walking faster, but it's just the same speed. So next one would be gait with horizontal head turns. So Rachel, begin with your toes on the line. When I say begin, start walking at your normal pace. When I tell you to look right, keep walking straight, but turn your head to the right. Keep looking right until I tell you to look left. <coughs> then you'll keep walking straight and turn your head to the left until I tell you to look straight. Do you understand? Yep. Okay. Begin. Look to your right. Look to your left. Look to your right. And straight. Good. So again, I am timing her there and it gives you those times. And then, so she's able, she gets the three points, normal, performs her head turn smoothly with no change in gait pattern or evidence of imbalance. And then the last one, Rachel, is going to be, begin with your toes on the line. When I tell you begin, you'll start walking at your normal pace. And when I tell you to look up, you'll keep walking straight, but tilt your head up and look at the ceiling. Keep looking up until I tell you to look down. Then keep walking straight and tilt your head down and look at the floor until I tell you to look straight. Do you understand what I'd like you to do? Yep. Alrighty. Begin. Look up. Look down. Look straight. Look up. Look down. Good. So again, the times are on there that'll give you those points. And then the gait pattern is normal. She's able to perform those head turns smoothly and with no change in gait pattern or evidence of imbalance. So she gets the full three points. So that is the abridged version of the DGI. That's the four item DGI. And that again, will tell you if that patient is at an increased likelihood of experiencing a fall. So thank you guys for listening. And those are the two outcome assessments that I have for you.